Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a pleasant day. Today we're going to have a look at a very interesting species of dinosaur, if you ask my opinion at least. Known as Dracorex hogswartia, with the name translating to Dragon King of Hogwarts. The name was inspired by young visitors to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis as a tribute to dragons, which the dinosaur certainly resembled, and Hogswartia, as a reference to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, as seen in the Harry Potter novels. Dracorex roamed the Earth during the Cretaceous period, which was the final point in history in which the dinosaurs dominated the Earth. The length of Dracorex is not fully known, but estimates suggest that it was 3 metres or 10 feet long. The weight is also not really known, because only a few vertebrae in the skull have only been uncovered, and some scientists suggest that Dracorex was in fact a juvenile Pasticeplosaurus. Dietary wise, Dracorex is believed to be a herbivore, but this which with a herbivore normally feeding on plant matter of course. But scientists, after scanning Dracorex's skull, found out that the animal's incisors were in fact serrated, making Dracorex, perhaps famously, the first possible omnivorous dinosaur, meaning it feeds on both animal matter and plant matter. Dracorex was discovered in 2004 by three amateur paleontologists and was found within the Hell Creek Formation in South Dakota. Dracorex would have shared its North American landscape with famous dinosaurs such as Ankylosaurus, Triceratops, and Tyrannosaurus rex. Dracorex is a member of the family Pasticeplosauridae and is related to species such as Stichymylock and Pasticeplosaurus. The only known other Pasticeplosaur that possessed a semi flat head was Stegoceras. I will leave this little display up for a few more seconds just so you can see the lovely differences and comparisons between the three Pasticeplosauridae species. Here are some big, round, dome-sized facts for you, ladies and gentlemen. As said before, Dracorex means Dragon King from Hogwarts and is a reference to the Harry Potter novels and to the dinosaur's appearance. Due to Dracorex's serrated incisors, it is believed Dracorex may have been the first omnivorous dinosaur. Dracorex was also featured in the series Prime Evil, in which it caused carnage in both the medieval and modern world. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a beautifully rendered skull of Dracorex. This highlights some of the amazing prominent head features that Dracorex possessed. Dracorex had really spiny horns, bumps and a long muzzle overall. It also possessed a large number of osteoderms and had a large number of nodes, hornlets and spikes. Overall, osteoderms are bony deposits forming scales and they end up plating over other structures in the dermal layers of the skin. They are also commonly found within other scaly reptiles and crocodilians. Right, the closest dinosaur physically comparable to Dracorex goes by the name of Sticky Mylock. It was another member of the family Parasaurolocephalidae, and the actual meaning, which I think is pretty bloody cool, means demon from the Styx, which refers to the river Styx found within, I think it's Greek mythology in the underworld. It's the, uh, the river that leads to Hades, or the actual underworld itself. I might be wrong in that, though. Overall, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. But I also, I like to hope that you remember the name Dracorex, as it is one, not a commonly known dinosaur, such as other famous dinosaurs, such as Ankylosaurus, Diplodocus, Iguanodon, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, Tyrannosaurus rex, Velociraptor, and other such dinosaurs. I could go on forever with this. But try and remember Dracorex just for the fact it has a cool name. Because there's not many animals you're going to find that has a name that translates to Dragon King of Hogwarts. Which me being... I don't mind Harry Potter, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But even I find that a cool, that's a very cool name. Overall though, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed or disliked it and thought it was a lot of rubbish, you can still feel a comment to like or dislike and subscribe. And overall, I hope you have a pleasant day or evening wherever you are in the globe. And I shall see you soon with plenty more animal-sized videos.